ICBM Attack by Spectre Systems, a 4K cartridge for the Ballet Arcade, Astrocade, released in 1982. This is the title screen for ICBM Attack. It actually has colors that change on the explosion and where the words ICBM Attack are. The game plays on the Ballet Arcade. Here's a close up of the system. Has, here is an ad from an old uh, Montgomery Ward. Uh, supplement in the Sunday paper from about 1982, uh, October, I think. At the time, the system was selling for about $240. And the controllers in the front there are going to have a close up in a second. This is a re release of the system. This is a low res scan of the cartridge that I made in about 2001. At the time, I made this at about 100 dpi. Uh, I've sold my cartridge since that time. And unfortunately, there's not a really good version available. This is about the best that I could find. This is from an, uh, a cartridge that's available on eBay. And I sort of did my best to try to make the cartridge look good here. So you could get an idea of what the label looked like. This is what the game looks like when played in MAME. The colors are approximately right. Normally I try to show gameplay footage captured from a real machine, but in this case, I'll be showing the game as it is played only in MAME under emulation on a uh, computer with Windows. This is a close-up of the controller. That's my hand holding it. Shows approximately how big it is. Uh, the reason I'm showing the controller is because this game does not use this controller at all. There is a way to play this game, sort of. It's called Missile Attack. Uh, in the mid-1980s, Michael White uh, changed the game a bit so it could use the regular controller. The game doesn't play naturally that way. And if you've had a chance to play Missile Attack, you would probably think this game isn't very good, but it's a good game. This is actually a close-up of the Missile Attack label that Mike White printed in the mid-1980s. He gave me this copy in the early 2000s. This was actually about half a sheet of paper and printed to his uh, nine-pin printer from his Astrocade, hooked up via the Blue RAM expansion. Now this is the uh, Spectre handle. It is the controller that is required to play ICBM Attack. It is an analog controller. Uh, the reason I'm covering this uh, cartridge at all is because there's hardly any videos of this game being played properly on uh, YouTube or anywhere where you can see how the game plays naturally. Also, this game is going to be covered in the next episode of the Ballet Astrocast. It's currently uh, the end of January 2020, and that episode of the podcast will be released in a week or two. Here's a close up of the controller, and as I said, that is an analog joystick. And as you can see on the left and right side, there are buttons. Those are meant to be used with the pinball game for the Astrocade. This is a, a alternate screenshot of the game. Uh, after each level, the screen colors change. This is another screenshot of the game. It's actually a little bit earlier. Uh, in 2001, the uh, ICBM attack cartridge was released into the public domain by Mike Toth and Marion Nelipa, as well as Brett Bilberry, who programmed the game. Thanks guys, I appreciate you uh, releasing this game into the public domain. This allows it to be played by anyone easily, because the ROM is freely available. Not only is the ROM freely available, but uh, you can check out the ROM uh, in like a hex editor, and that's what I'm doing right here. This is the uh, first few hundred bytes of the game, and of course it makes no sense. Uh, if you're just looking at it in hex, it's near impossible to understand. But I have gone through the trouble of disassembling some of this code. I started that in uh, November of 2011. So quite a few years ago, I made my last update to it in 2013. So uh, seven years ago, as of today, this is the top of the uh, disassembly. And right here is the uh, first few bytes of the code. Uh, if you were to uh, assemble this program, it assembles uh, exactly into a byte for byte exact duplicate of the cartridge. Or here's one more screenshot of the disassembly. And in this case, you can look at what you are looking at for the graphics. Uh, so if you look at the anime ship pattern, you can sort of make out that that is the baddie that goes flying left to right up and down across the screen as you're playing. Back in uh, 2010, Paul Thacker and I wrote an article on how to play the game using the MESS emulator. MESS has now been incorporated into MAME. And if you follow these instructions, which are available on BallyAlley.com, then you will learn how I was able to play this game under MAME and play it properly. In these instructions, I talk about how the game can be set up to play with an Xbox 360 analog controller, 
the X arcade I think I also talk about and how to play the game with the mouse. In this uh, video, you'll see how I play the game using the X arcade and it plays wonderfully. Here's a screenshot of me playing the X arcade. This is actually captured directly from the video of me playing the game. Here's another screen capture of me playing the game. And um, in this video here, you can actually see that I got four shots on the screen at once. For more information uh, about this game, you can uh, visit bellyalley.com in the documentation area. There's an entire section devoted just to Spectre Systems. And this is because um, eight or 10 years ago, in about 2011, I think, um, Brett Bilbray sent me a whole bunch of documentation on this game and other games released by Spectre Systems. A lot of that information um, is interesting, not only in the case of ICBM Attack, but also for Treasure Cove, another game released by Spectre Systems. And there is some information about the Spectre handle there. Uh, so if you're interested in this game, uh, in Treasure Cove, or other information about Spectre Systems, including some information about this uh, game, ICBM Attack, that I'm not talking about in this video, or the uh, information that Chris and I don't cover um, in the AstroCast podcast either, you'll find it all in this area. Just for the heck of it, I decided to include a few pictures from the documentation for ICBM Attack that was included with Brett Filbray's uh, box of information. Uh, here's uh, the screen layout uh, and graphics that were designed for the game. Um, you can see here uh, that the orange graphics are some uh, pictures of what the uh, UFOs might have looked like, but there are only one type of UFO in this game, so these are possible alternatives that were never used. This is the screen layout for the introductory screen for the game. Um, it all had to be laid out by hand, converted to hex, and then input into the assembler that I guess Brett was using on his TRS-80. Finally, this is going to be what the maybe a screen might have looked like. The screen never looked this complicated in the game, but as you can see, they had uh, bigger and better ideas for how the screen might have been laid out. So the screen layout is simple. It doesn't need to be this complicated, though it would have been pretty nice if it had been. Coming up next are four videos. Uh, the first three are of the X Arcade uh, alongside uh, my computer monitor, and you'll see me playing a quick game of ICBM Attack in these first few videos, it's not so easy to see how the game is played. The whole point is to see that the trackball is being used to play the game. Following those three videos is going to be uh, about a five minute game of ICBM attack played via emulation. The graphics look very crisp and clear. I want to note that if you were to play this game on a real Astrocade uh, via RF modulation, like a regular Astrocade would be played on a CRT, the blurriness uh, softens the graphics, and so it looks better on a real TV. One last piece of information I want to add here is that over the years, uh, many people have said they'd like to have an analog joystick so they could play this game on real hardware. Maybe this video will be the inspiration someone needs to actually create that controller. I hope you enjoy these few videos and uh, listen to the podcast. It gives a lot more information about the game, and Chris and I also talk about what we think of the game itself. Enjoy. I'm going to be playing ICBM Attack today using MAME emulation. ICBM Attack used a special controller. In its place, I'm going to be using a trackball controller. And I've configured it so that it can use three buttons. This will be button one, two, and three. And I'll start the game using the start button. This is a close-up of the X Arcade controller, and as I said, this is my trackball which I'll be using. This will be button 1 to fire from the left city, the middle city, the right city, and this will start the game. Okay, let's see how this works. I'm going to play a really not-so-great game. Uh, this is just an example so you can see the game in motion, and see it be controlled by the trackball. So to start the game, I press the start button, then I press this button, and I use this. Normally, uh, you have a completely different controller that's an analog controller that's only used for this game on the Astrocade. I'm going to choose one player game. You can have up to four. I'm going to start the game. Oh, there we go. And you hear a little buzzing noise, maybe. It only lasts until a sound starts. I'm going to fire from the middle. 
the side, like the middle, and now far left side, and I'm this is just a quick demonstration. I'm actually going to let myself have all my uh, move the baddies kill me, but I can fire up the four shots on the screen at once. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I think you only get one baddie at a time. I've lost one of my cities, which is okay, because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to lose. And that's probably not the best idea. But uh, I'm going to actually play a, a, a full game uh, and capture it. Oh, I got to the next screen, so you get a different color. Yeah. And let's get started. Do -do 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 -do. The game controls beautifully. I mean, this, it's like Brett Bilbray, the author of the game who wrote the program code for Spectre Systems. Um, it's like he knew I was going to use this controller in 2020. Um, it's fantastic. It's a great way to play this game. Um, I wish there were other games on the system I could play this with. Um, technically, this will control any paddle game. So, the game gets much faster. If you were playing, it starts off a little bit slow. This game is going to be covered in the Astrocast number 12. Uh, it's currently January 2020. Uh, that will be released uh, toward the end of January or maybe the beginning of February. It's already recorded. It has to be edited. So, well, that's about it. Uh, that's what the game looks like when it's in play when I'm actually using the roller controller, or excuse me, that's what the ColecoVision calls it, when I'm using a trackball.